And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some sea monsters and dragons. That's right, we're going to go ahead and bring this deck back. Played it a couple of weeks ago. We've made a couple of changes to update it, but we're going to try it out in ranked. We had it as just a meme tier deck in normal before, but basically we are uh, playing the biggest of the big. We are going deep below the water with Nautilus and high upon the mountain with Aurelian Soul and just the biggest of the big. Um, we did have Petty Officer in it before because it was before Petty Officer got nerfed. So we're going to replace the Petty Officers and then also replace two Zenith Blade. We had two Zenith Blade in here to try to, you know, because this is a meme tier deck, we're trying to give Nautilus and Aurelian Soul Overwhelm. But that's not really necessary, <laughs> to be honest. But so we're, we had, so that was five total cards, three and then four, five. And so we're going to replace those. We're going to play two Twisted Fates because uh, this is just a good card against aggro, you know, get the red card in there, um, and then also make it rains. So that's what we're uh, playing as our new aggro stoppers with uh, instead of playing a petty officer. But so we're going to just play some early stuff with, got some early blockers, our Dredge Dredger, Solari Soldier, Solari Shield Bearer, um, got some early blockers. Jaw Hunters is a good challenger that creates a random sea monster. And then we're going to try to go deep. We got lots of card draw. Like Guiding Touch can draw cards. Of course, Salvage, now our new Twisted Fate, can draw cards. Dragon's Clutch, drawing two different dragons. So that's pretty awesome. And then getting to our top end, Abyssal Eye uh, is a sea monster that can draw new cards. Devour, sea monster for removal. Um, obviously, we have Nautilus. But then we have our dragons with Infinite Mind Splitter, Aurelian Soul, and Inviolus Vox, being able to create more dragons for us so sea monsters and dragons being super greedy getting all that top end stuff let's see how it does we're gonna go play five games in ranked with our sea monsters and dragons taking it all the way over to master's rank this is going to be a big time test for our big time deck card's good all right playing against noxus bilgewater no surprise there All right, got our Twisted Fates. So I like this two, three, four. Um, Dragon's Clutch is a three mana draw two, uh, but we may not have time for a three mana draw two. So let's get a four mana draw two. <laughs> Don't have time for a three mana? How about four? All right, Precious Pet's good. We'll be able to make a rain that thing. This is definitely one where I wish that we had the attack token turn one, turn three. Like, where I could play the shield bear on two on defense and jaw hunters on three on offense. But that's not the case. We were hoping they were going to play something else with one health. That's what we were hoping. But they did not oblige. <laughs> That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. <sighs> yep. So I could go gold card with twisted fades. Probably my best bet. I'm always up for a round. Just take two for ones. Dead in their tracks. It does of course help level up their gangplank. Which is the worst thing about that. If we were closer to Devour Adepts, I would like Devour Adepts to take down um, Legion Grenadier if I could help. But can't always help that. I'm not gonna try to too overly hard to level up Twisted Fate. Like, we're going to be blocking with it. Uh, just going to be trying to stay alive. Keep up, keep up. Spray pen. My faith protects me. Got something for him. Charmed, I'm sure. Alright, so I think we just play the Guiding Touch 
and to save a couple of mana. Yeah, I think that's better than playing Salvage. So we're at 30 cards left, not too, uh, not too close to going deep. So do we play Inviolus Vox or Abyssal Eye? I'm gonna go with the Vox. I think against Gangplank, this is my best option. Gangplank's definitely the scariest thing. I want to, you know, try to stay alive for Abyss for the Infinite Mind Splitter. Alright, this is a good play against Jack the Winner as well. So probably doing that and now I'm going to be playing Gangplank. That would be my assumption. I wish I could have Devour and Shield Bear. I wish I could just lead with Shield Bear and then play Devour. Um, I guess it's going to be lead with Shield Bear. They play Gangplank. I play Abyssal Eye. Gangplank's gonna be a 6-6. Six, six. Let's do this! Okay. Just attacking. Possible I should be doing star shaping right here instead of Abyssal Eye. With the with my eye on infinite mind splitter next turn. Because by by playing Abyssal Eye, this means that I'm gonna have to star shaping next turn. You for the many. Not enough for Devour and Star Shaping. Lock the doors. I was feeling pretty good about this game until this Monkey Idol. This Monkey Idol is really looking nice. Yeah, I, mean, I can't even attack with those things. Monkey Idol's really looking nice. We live here. <laughs> No! <laughs> I want a Demolitionist and Monkey Idol. That's what I wanted. In particular, I definitely wanted the Monkey Idol, but I wanted to do that before they started playing more things. Yeah, I mean, I can't play around Rex whatsoever. Or Captain Farron. GG's. Just had a good hand. Noxus Bilgewater is super strong. They have a lot of really, really good cards. And they just defeated me. That's the way it goes. Okay. This one should be a better matchup for us. Uh, but... Yeah, should be. We're gonna struggle getting Lux. Um, no, we'll get this. We may struggle getting Lux off the battlefield. Cool. Just got a whole bunch of draw twos in hand. We should have plenty of time to play draw twos. Bless the people and fear the heretics. In shining sunlight. We should. Hmm. No, the two infinite mind splitters. Oh, man. Talk about some bad luck with the tosses right there. Double infinite mind splitter. Eat the trash! Eat the trash! 
And there's one in, in Violus Vox now. I only have one Aurelian Soul, one of, in Violus Vox left, so only one Dragon's Clutch is going to do something now. No mercy for heretics. The guilty were bad. Yeah, that's true. Nautilus can bring him back. That's true. Nautilus can bring him back. I wonder if I'm supposed to lead with Solari Soldier. The power of the yeah, I should have led with Solari Soldier. Glorious light rains down. Bad decision by me. Scorching light. Fish out of water. Just doesn't really seem that important to kill, does it? That's what I'm thinking. Got to keep removal for Lux. So I'm, we could Dragon's Clutch right now. Draw the Envious Vox. Draw Rillian Soul, and then so we'll have uh, the Vox to play next turn. I think that's the route that I'm gonna go. Nine cards in hand. Daylight, everlasting. Only five away from deep. A blade forged with blessed sunlight. All right, so Bastion. Bastion stops sunburst. I should have fired off. I guess I should have fired off the sunburst. So I can't really just play ship recorder because we just die. Should have fired this off before, I suppose. Yeah, Bastion's a huge problem. Well, Bastion stops the spell from happening, so the spell doesn't silence. So, want to jettison here after we put the treasures in, so now we, it's going to be more likely that we draw the treasures. Possible they'll never run out of daybreak cards Daylight though. Warms the heart and lights the way. Sunlight lines. You never know. Believe or burn. Used firebrand. Treasure trove! I don't have room for you. Nine cards in hand. Uh, I guess we just pass. We can basically get rid of, you know, most most all non-champions in our deck. So we have we still have the four champions. We still have the two Twisted Fates and two Nautilus. I'm not gonna have another celestial card in hand, and with star shaping, the all like the removal that you get are all like if you behold another celestial. But I'm not gonna behold another celestial. Blessings from 
So we can still gain seven life with star shaping. Star shaping and guiding touch together. That's unfortunate. And that's fortunate. So that's going to be better than star shaping so we get to stun. So we can stun, you know, it'll stun the Radiant Guardian. That's worth more than five life. That was a big reason why I wanted to play the Fused Firebrand also, of course, was the um, was the spell shield to be able to stop getting stunned. Okay. So we block here and just block here. Take two. So am I going Aurelian Soul? It's probably just best just to play Aurelian Soul. Otherwise, I could play like Jaw Hunters and try to challenge. Nah, let's just go Aurelian Soul. Oh man, we're gonna have Descent. The, the Skies Descend also. That card is sweet. See, once our deck gets going, it's never going to run out of cards. <laughs> like, we have a treasure trope here, and we're just never going to be able to play treasure trope, because we can't we can't get a small amount of cards in our in our hand. I wonder if I should jettison and just get jettison out of my hand. No, probably not. Attack with these. Seems like per perfectly reasonable attacks. Back heretic. I really hope this isn't Nautilus. So I'm gonna just have ten cards, aren't I? Please don't be Nautilus. Be something else. Okay, good. Because the reason why I didn't want to play Jettison is because I want to have 11 mana, right? Like, this thing costs 11. So I didn't want to spend my 1 mana on Jettison. Strike for justice! Descend upon them! Banish the unworthy! No mercy for heretics. I don't really know exactly what this attack's about. I kind of feel like I shouldn't be blocking with Aurelian Soul. Like I should maybe have my 6-6 six, six be blocking the Leona and my Twisted Fate block the two the 5-5. Five, five. Obviously, if we if we survive this and if we survive and if not if Auto, uh, if Aurelian Soul survives, we're gonna be looking great. Galaxies faster than this. Like Judgment would take up eight mana. Yep, down to two. Get up, puppy. Burns on. But Aurelian Soul is alive. And so that's important.
Okay, how many cards in hand do we have? If we play Treasure Trove, that's three, six, seven. So we'd make... All right, so I can jettison. No, play Worm Egg. Wait, well, I guess I'll just play this. <laughs> I was going to play the Treasure Trove and create four cards and hope the four cards gave us a lot of power so we can just open attack and kill them. But I guess the play Worm Egg does that. So that'll work. Look at us. Sea monsters and dragons fighting side by side. GG's. Barely stayed alive at two. I feel like we're gonna get some even better games. We'll see. All right, GG's. We'll take that win. Victory today, freedom tomorrow. All right, Fiora Tarek. We can go over the top of Fiora Tarek. We can do that. Sorry, really in soul. We're gonna draw you later on. Keep all these. Just keep the one drop. Some burst a good removal spell. Doesn't stop Bastion. You know, Bastion stops it. But besides Bastion, that's it. That was big being able to remove the luck, the Lux, the previous game. See, we just redrew Aurelian Soul. So the plan is just to trade one drops. It's my plan. That's not their plan. Not a loss. Reaching the peak will change everything. Mm. Yay. Enemies of day will fall. I can do this. You cannot sway me. Like that we got to get that thing out of here. Um, Twisted Fate red card can kill a tracker now. Um, yeah, we talked about the the new cards just a little bit ago. I'm always up for a round or two. Use Bastion to save their Fleet Feather Tracker. I like both of the new PNZ cards. The the two the five that we saw today. I like the the two PNZ cards. Those both look pretty good. Hesitation to tell. The fight I love that. With holding double Sunburst in hand, love getting one of their three Bastions out of their hands with just a red card. Love that. Shatter that. Never submit. Okay. So do I kill Tarek or kill Fleet Feather Tracker? I guess. Looks like about to level up. I guess it's the Tarek. So I can now sunburst the tracker, but just in case they would have... Or we could go Vox. Just in case they'd have another Bastion. It's like, which one would I rather them have alive? Break their spirits and their souls. One foot in front of the other. Those aren't too scary. Show them what we're made of. That thing's a little more scary. So I could go Twisted Fate Gold card, but then my Twisted Fate's just dying to this protege that's gonna stay as a 4-2-4. Four, four. We don't really get any headway in. If I play the Vox, we take nine and go down to six. Oh no, do they have single combat? Single combat's a big problem. Unbelievers will see the light. That's a problem. No time to rest. 
Hardly fair. Oh, I should have gone gold card. We draw infinite mind splitter. Jettison. I could draw two different dragons, but I don't have any five cost dragons. So that doesn't help either. So I guess it's like Twisted Fate blue card. This is not this is not great. Soak it in. That single combat really wrecked me. Need the gold card. <laughs> oh, just one one man away from playing that. Okay. I set up just much earlier. Know exactly where. Trundle Trindamir. We have a good anti aggro hand. Trundle Trindamir is not an aggro deck. We don't really need Mega Reigns. Honestly, we don't really need Twisted Fate. Um, let's just get a new hand, I guess. Okay. Going towards going deep quickly. We can do that. Alright, burned one, one Mind Splitter, one Vox. We're gonna have to draw the others with this. But of course, Nautilus can bring them back. Yeah, I did use a six mana card twice against a four cost and a one cost, but they also used, you know, like a, a five cost pump spell on those also. It wasn't as bad tempo-wise as it just sounds, uh, you know, right away. It wasn't as bad. I gotta save Sunburst. I would like to use Sunburst, but we gotta save it. We're gonna draw cards with this Twisted Fate. So this will draw a card. We'll have Dragon's Clutch to draw two more. Salvage can draw two more. But we gotta have Sunburst for their two champions. Oh dang. We have found Abyssal Eye. Why'd you have to have that card? That's really not necessary. Ten away from deep. Today we fight as one. We're getting there. If we can get Nautilus deep, then we can really unload our hand with a lot of these other things. Well, that's interesting. That would help us go deep. Alright, so they're probably out of those kind of cards. Right? So probably Devour Adepts, Obliterates, Avaros, and Hearthguard. Okay. Especially with one mana. Having another sunburst for the next one, so we're still eight away from deep. Dang, they got Lunari Priestess. That card's good. Calm mind and open heart, greet the night. Change is coming. 
Cool, so they play that, I get to attack. Withering Whale. Alright, so only 5 mana, so I don't need to worry about, like, Mind Splitter stopping something big. Um. Okay, let's see. So if I play Nautilus, we have 2 extra mana. Next turn, that's going to be 11 mana. If I need to play Salvage and... Jettison, that's five, so we'd have six extra mana. Sunburst. Okay. So based on you know, deciding, do I play Solari Soldier or not? Like, do I spend this one mana or do I need it? I think we need it. So now I could have... Uh, still have Sunburst to kill Trundle or Trindamir. Oh, come on, really? No, and then they do have Trundle, but now I don't get the Sunburst. Ugh. It's gross. I guess we're going Infinite Mind Splitter. Let's see, I can make a 6 6 Abyssal Eye. Yeah, I guess we're going Infinite Mind Splitter. Gross. No mercy for heretics. So this be the second trundle instead? Okay, no. I just didn't block the 2 1 because I was stunning it and um, not have my Solari Soldier die to a 1 damage spell, which they have plenty of 1 damage spells as we've been seeing. So the real problem here is is Ruination, right? Like I want to play a Rillian Soul, but I also don't want to get Ruination. Could go like double Abyssal Eye. It's rough that we have to have like Sunburst first. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Aurelian Soul does survive Ruination. That's a good call. That's, that's, that's true. Maybe I should have done Sunburst before this thing leveled up, because now with Sunburst doesn't kill it. It's an 11 11. So, doing that to turn these sea monsters into. Oh no, we're still one away from deep? Well, that was a waste. <laughs> I thought that was going to make us go deep. What is, what is going on here with my hand? Like, you don't get anything special for, for winning labs. Uh, there's a, a fun game mode to play, but there's no there's no special incentive with them. Playing this on burst. I don't really like playing the Supernova as that like my as that being my only card, and yeah, we'll supernova these two.
That could be not bad. Why, how they stare. Right, so if we obliterate those, so they're left with four cards. Hopefully they're out of big threats for a little bit. I want them to play very defensively. Because the longer the game goes, the better for us. So that's that's the kind of turn I like. We used one card, they used two. And we got rid of two of their champions. They got rid of one of mine. The War Mother will unite us all. So I th think we got this from here. <laughs> yeah, we're looking pretty good. Is there such a thing as overextending into ruination? I don't know if that's really even a thing. They'd have to have, you know, they'd have to have something small to do to get rid of the spell shield with Aurelian Soul as well. I don't think that's really a thing with with what's in our hand. Even if they have like a, you know, even if they have something small to get rid of the spell shield and then also ruination, I still just have all of this stuff in hand. It's like even if it's the worst case scenario with three cards. It's just not a, a very bad case scenario. And here we go. Sea monsters and dragons. They are stunned. That's a win. GG's two and two. You've been wonderful, as have I. We can do some stuff. As you can see, we're 500. Ooh, same matchup. Same matchup. So we want our sunbursts. They were clutch last game. We'll look at all those. All right, not a bad hand. This could work out pretty well. I hope that they play Weirding Stones on turn three. That's, and then I get to Jaw Hunters it. That's like the the big hope. Because they're not going to do anything turn one. They're not going to do anything turn two. So we pass. We pass again. Hopefully, weirding stones. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Cool. Now, hopefully, not troll chant. Punish hopefully, this works. Let it happen. No. All right, they had Troll Chant. Well, it almost worked. We got Troll Chant out of their hand for free. So that's cool. Yeah, Sunburst is pretty strong, especially this matchup with Trundles and Trindomirs. It is very good against Trundles and Trindomirs. Blue card. Soak it in. See, you know, see what else we got. More Nautilus. Smashing. Now. Set the hooks. So I guess we're playing Star Shaping this turn. Don't really have anything else good to play. Could play Beast Below. Man, that doesn't make sense to star shaping that thing, does it? Yeah, might as well. Well, okay, 
Solari Soldier now or later? Say later. I don't value the four life very highly, and in the off chance this Twisted Fate stays alive, that'd be very good. That's pretty poor. Well, we got a lot of sea monsters and a lot of dragons. We do have that. But these two Solari cards for the last two draw steps, so these are like the worst cards in our deck. Um. Yeah, Devour is a 4-4. And it's on, yeah, it's on health. Yeah, this would have been a great hand to have Sunburst, right? Like, if we had Sunburst, we would have killed that Trundle. That, everything would have been fine. Um, it's not really going fine right now. Clad in shining sunlight. It's not going fine. We fight for one Freljord. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Fell into them! Wait, is this just a bad play? Oh, I didn't mean to. I meant to not attack with Jaw Hunters. Whoops. That's a bad play, giving them more room with War Mothers. You're a little late now, Sunburst. I guess not too late. You can take down that thing, but still late for the Trundle, which. Trundle's a big problem. So only got plus one plus zero, so that means the ice pillar is the only thing in their hand that costs eight plus. King of Trolls, coming through. Twist of Fate's at six. If they have vengeance, I, I lose. But my hand's not very good. I don't have I don't have a better option. Pass turn. Pass turn. Pass turn. Pass turn. No, the very last card they drew. Oh, that was a vile feast. No, Disobey, you were so close. Pass turn. No, I'm not attacking. There's no way in heck I'm attacking. They have six things on the board. That's awesome. I don't want to kill anything. There are War Mothers call decks, so they're going to put Trindamir into play and it's just going to get obliterated. Because they have six things in, in play. No. I don't know what you just drew, but I don't like it. Don't be vengeance. Don't be vengeance. Just pass turn. Yeah, put that back in your hand. Pass turn. No. I don't like that either. Darn, so now that... So that did clear up room. So we could just kill stuff now. So like, I could do this. No, it doesn't make any sense to kill that thing. Alright, we'll... We'll take down this first ice pillar, I guess. Grow... The infinite mind splitter. My grows restless. Darn, see if they wouldn't have played that atrocity, they wouldn't have had room for that Trindamir. Our banner will lead the way. 
Wish we had another celestial card. That was a good atrocity that they found, you know, like whenever they were digging, like that pill cascade and stuff. Do we have any spells in this deck? Yeah, we have 16 spells. We've drawn, what, two of them? In this whole game? GG's. Oh, that's true, Seymour. That, that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done that last turn. I should have just played Nautilus and then have my other Nautilus be Riptide. I didn't I didn't really think of that, to be honest. I didn't think about getting, you know, if, if that's a way to get a spell is Riptide. Yeah, that, that would have been a lot better. That's what I should have done is, is play Nautilus right there instead of, you know, at the very end. I was planning on playing another Infinite Mind Splitter. That was my plan. So I, I just played like the... the uh, dredgers at first just to toss some and then I was going to play Mind Splitter, but I could have done Mind Splitter on my turn. I should have done Nautilus right there and then that would have gave me Riptide. Good call. Good call. Alright, so we went 2 and 3. I think that matchup's pretty good for us, but you know, sometimes you just lose to a couple atrocities without having much interaction yourself. Um, I think our, our deck was really respectable. I think it, it held up pretty well in Master's Rank for being super greedy like we are with all these sea monsters and dragons. Um, yeah, I liked it. I think it I think it did hold up pretty well. There we go. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about sea monsters and dragons or anything else, any of the new cards, um, you know, whatever else. I love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.